And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the All-Stars taking on the All-Nations. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton. And now, I'm John Chubb. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars of the sport. Andy Leonard. Always exciting to see him in action. And it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boogie. It's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. And this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. Just about set to go. Today's starting pitcher, Perez. What do we have on him? And a guy like this is going to keep you in the ball game. He's going to go out there, compete. Not going to see a whole lot of flair and flash, but... He's going to hand it over to the bullpen at some point, and if you've been able to score a few runs, you'll be in it late. So we'll see if he's able to do that for his club in this one. All right, ready to go here and step. Stepping in is the speedy number 16. That misses the zone, and we are underway. And now two and nothing. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Ball Next three. offering misses. And now three and oh. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And that's in for a strike. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Three two now struck him out swinging pulled the string on the changeup. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right, right there. I mean just to keep that speed off the base Number pass. 29. It's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders have to think about that runner potentially stealing but also be in position to make a play as an outfielder. You're hurt. thinking about a base hit the to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Yeah, the batter down. Number 34, Perez, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a curb, a splitter, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Hey, your pitch right here, let's go. Swing and a miss. And a count is 0-2. Bringing the cheese on that one. Hey, get your pitch, see through, huh? The pitch. Leonard sizes this one up. Long run, tracks it down. Runner tags up for second. He's in there. Well, oh, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Number 13, Inside, the next to hit, one. takes ball one. Bounce to the left side, and that's just foul. Runner at second, two down. Hard ground ball, base nine. Here's the throw to the plate, and he's in there. And a run comes in to score. Picks himself up in RBI. That's Just kept great. it simple. Played pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Number 10 getting ready to hit. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. That one fouled off. Next offering is down low. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. Popped up. And that is that. 
They get a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. The All-Stars lead it one to nothing. Welcome back. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Morgan. Chris, it's a little more common these days, but still, he's a strikeout per inning type of guy. Well, I hear you about the strikeouts. A lot more guys striking out today, but when you consider having the ability to get that strikeout, particularly when you need it, a man on third, less than two outs, situations where, yeah, maybe you're not a real high strikeout guy, but just knowing you have the swing and miss stuff in a big spot, I think it's real critical, and he's got it. Move over to first, try to keep him close. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. It's a pitch out. Safe at second with a stolen base. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. Runner tagging for third, but just bluffing there. Hangs on at second with two Attic away now. The catcher. DK. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the start of the inning. And here's the rookie catcher, Flint. Singing, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Righty to the plate. Hey. Struck him out looking. No, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. And that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. The third baseman. One down. Now the third baseman, number 20. That's a strike going one. Ball nope. one there. Ball. One ball, one strike. Good. The one one. Rudder takes off. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back there. And out of here. A two run homer. And they add to their lead. It's three nothing. Most times it's the pitcher looking at the scoreboard for velocity, but in this case it's the hitter. He just turned around triple digits at the dish. I don't even know how he saw that pitch. Maybe he did, but he got a home run out of it. Base is empty one away, and next is the designated hitter, John Dillon. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Still only one out here in the inning. Line drive, base hit. Now he'll turn for second. Not stopping, he's going for three. Throw cut off to third, and he's out. The triple is arguably the most exciting play in baseball, and a guy's worked so hard to get around first, to get around second, and get thrown out at third. Man, you just feel bad for him. On top of that, he was already in scoring position, so you think about how it kind of hurts the team as well. Bunting, and it's right in front of the plate. He's safe on with a bunt single. Well, Singy, that was really nice looking. Able to get it down and in a good spot. And he makes it look easy. Bat angle was perfect. Barrel stayed above the hands. Could almost walk to first. Here's the pitch. Runner on the goal. Strike in there. Throw to second. Great jump. Two outs is a great time to try to steal second, especially when you have a guy with some wheels on first. Defense probably knew it was coming, but figured we better focus on trying to get this hitter out. Righty delivers. Out to short right. Slings it across. Out number three. So two runs, four hits, no errors, and a runner left. Now to the bottom of the second. 
the All Stars with the lead three to nothing. And welcome back. Top half of the third inning. And now the first baseman, number 34. Number 34. And here it comes. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. Charlie's back out here for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper is looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. Got him swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball on the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. Number 13 one in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. I got a ball, one strike. Hey. And now one and two. That one down the line, and that's a fair ball. Good two-strike hitting right now there, about. Boog. A bit of a lost start for 10. some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and hey. put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. That's that hits ball. the dirt. And one and one. This one high in the air to left center. Tracks it down for the out. Two down. Here's the catcher to hit, Flint. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Flint getting the starting catcher, only 18 years old. He joined the team as a free agent, and that'll fall for a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Now it's the second baseman, number 35. Foul ball. Here comes the 0-1. Oh, that hit him. Save! Well, that grounder up the middle made it a little more challenging than a routine ball right at him, but it's definitely a play you expect to make as a middle infielder, and I'm sure he wants that one back, but for now, he's just got to get ready for the next one and make a play. Digging in, number 20. On a line out towards center. Right. Grabs it on the run. Start of the fourth. Now it's the DH. John Dillon. The designated hitter. Perez. Back to work. Good eye right there. Well, these guys showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. Next pitch in the dirt, ball two. And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there, it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later. Next one misses, and a full count now. High fly ball out of the left center field. And there's one down. The batter, number Back 16. to the top of the lineup. Now the left fielder, number 16. Ball and one. the pitch a little bit low. Ball now one. one oh. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. There's a one to one. Hey. That one catches the corner for a strike. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. Over to first. Two up, two down. Now batting. Number 29. Two outs, base is empty. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop. Number 29. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And there's a strike. Well, he looks fresh out there. Just. Needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Makes the catch, and that is that. Nothing across here this half. We're midway in the fourth. The All-Stars have the lead three to nothing. 
bottom of the fourth. Now Perez. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. The pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. Kicks and deals. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Ripped to short, zips it across, oh. and one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball it. out Get of the you. air, lets the defense yeah. work behind him. With another. Stepping in, number 34. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. And there's one away. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in now attack that. mode since the very number start. 13. Here's the center fielder, number 13. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And a strike in there. Next pitch misses, and it's two and one. That's out to center field, right under it. He's got it, and there's two away. So two down now, and here is number 10. And a foul ball. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. He was all over that one. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the hey. other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he nope. got it done. Next one off the plate inside, and now it's even one and one. Oh. Good eye right there. Run around the move, and a foul ball. Still two and two after the foul ball. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. There's a ball. Bottles the transfer. No throw. Two outs and one in scoring position. Ripped on a line. Can't get there. And now maybe extra bases. The run comes in to score from second. And it's 4-0. And that's a double. Oh, that was a great job of letting that runner yeah, steal second base, get in the scoring good. position, come through with the base knock, you add a run. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Perez won't go any further tonight. And as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. So they turn things over to the righty, Bryce Elder. He's pitching on two. Perez digs in now. Cruising on the mound right now, but a dangerous hitter here in this spot. A guy with some slug to him. Ball one, no strikes. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Across is the runner from first, and it's now a two-run game. And he'll pull into third with an RBI triple. Deacon White. And the first pitch misses for ball one.
at the belt and fires. And the slider just misses. No outs, runner over at third. Now three and oh. The pitch. And yeah, there's ball four. Y'all just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Now, now it's the no, shortstop. George, George Wright. He's over one. Right. And that one is inside. Fouled off left side. And he deals. The other way. And that's a base hit in the score from third. And it's a one-run game. Big time at bat right there. Comes through, and they're back within a run. He kind of muscled that one out there. Didn't get the barrel with it, but the important part was that he found a way to stay through the baseball and just drop it into center field. So runners at the corners, nobody out. Perez will hit next. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he could turn it into a three-run game in the... Slow roller to third. Throws across the diamond and one away in the bottom of the seventh. Now here is Perez. Out to short. Tag and he's out at the play. Oh, but we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. And now the catcher comes up to him. Deacon White. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Pitch is high. Throw. See. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. Here's a rocket out to left, and the inning is over. Hit one left. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level, and you start to gain this momentum, and you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things are clicking up and down the lineup. Pitchers are pitching. Guys are making the plays defensively. This is the kind of feeling. It's not going to last all season long, but you want to ride it as long as you possibly can, perhaps push it up to double digits. This one finishes with a final of 7-4. to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.